So let's just look through those. So again, I grabbed these three products and pasted them into this one file. Um, add product, I'm given a product. So I'm given one of these objects. Uh, again, remember it has the ID, product name, and quantity in it. So I'm given a full product. Uh, now I'm going to add, so this is a Java object. I'm given a Java object. I'm going to move that out to the database. So um, I, I have to set the pro, or set up my column names. Uh, so basically I'm going to uh, create what I call a values object here, which is like a new row. So I'm basically creating a new row, uh, and and uh, call values. So I create a new row here, and inside inside my cursor, inside my table, actually in my database, uh, and I want to put. Uh, and I, I, I'm using the product name field and store the product name there. I'm going to put the quantity and store the quantity there. I'm not going to put in the ID because the ID is set up to auto increment. So again, if I'm adding a new product, it should add the ID for me. It should add one, you know, create the ID for me. So I just have to do the quantity and the product name. Um, I then have to get a handle on the writable database on the database. Uh, and again, this class provides that, this, um, I'm inheriting the SQLite open helper. So I've got that available. So I've grabbed the database and I do db.insert and then my, the table that I have, make sure I know what table it's going. So I have a variable called table name. And then I send the values that I created up here, and then I close the database. Um, same with if I'm going to find a product in the database, I'll be given a product name, and I run a, a query, select star from uh, my table name where the column name is equal to things. Now again, sometimes it's hard to structure your SQL um, if you, when you do this a little bit, you start getting used to you. What I do is I write out the SQL like I want it, and then I look and say, okay, this is the the name of the table. I have a variable. I have a constant for that. So I put in a quote, a plus, uh, and then that variable, another plus, and a quote, and I continue on. Uh, and the same, same. Here's a column name. Uh, I know it should be product name on lower case, but I have a variable called product, column product name, so I'm going to do that. So again, you've got to create your SQL query mixture of string and these variables out there. Have you guys done the created SQL that way? Like in, certainly in, in uh, server side, in um, web stuff, you do that frequently, right? Yeah, some places. I, I, yeah, it's pretty kind of, you, if you haven't done it before, you will. I'll just tell you that. So we create our, our select command. Um, we grab a, uh, access to our database. We execute our raw query here. Uh, and we get a cursor back uh, from that. Um, and um, in this case, um, we are moving to the first item in that cursor, uh, assuming there is one, and then we're we're setting we're we're creating a product from that cursor. So we're grabbing the uh, different values from that cursor and storing them in our product. So basically, we are pulling information from our database and our fields in our database field zero, one, and two, and copying them that into our product object. And then we're going to return that project object. Um, and the last thing we delete, if we have a product name, 
Um, and this is kind of weird. Uh, what I thought they'd do is just um, given a product ID, delete it. But they're actually grabbing a product name and they're writing SQL, going out there and finding a product, getting the, call, the, the ID field from that, and then writing a new database command, delete that based on the column ID, uh, the ID field that they've got from the previous query. Uh, so again, if we just have the product name, we have to go out there, find, uh, do an, a select, find the record, grab the ID field from that, and then use the delete with that. Because we have to delete with the primary key. Otherwise, I guess we could delete to Benny. Because uh, I thought you could delete with the secondary key. I mean, not with, with any field. Can't you just delete all records where uh, product name equals some value? I think you can write that in SQL. So I don't know why they're not doing that. It'd be interesting to change this to do that. I don't know why they're not doing that. Um, okay. Last thing we have to do is change our main activity. Um, we've got to uh, change, put in our button click a uh, actions. They're putting these right into the XML field, the layout field. Uh, so they have these on click for new button, look, uh, new product, look up product, and remove product, and then they delete those. So I mean, they define those. So open up your XML file for activity main. Go into the text view. Um, and find your buttons. Your buttons should all be down at the bottom. There should be, at the bottom there should be three buttons. And for each one of these, we're going to put in uh, the on click method. Watch this end tag in here, the, the backslash greater than. You don't want to lose that, or you don't want two of those. So I'm going to grab this on click new product, which is on the first button and put that here. I'm going to grab the on-click lookup product and put that in the second one. And the third button should be this on-click remove product. So I should I should still have my three button tags and ending tags uh, for button. Uh, it should be the on click should be new product for button two. The on click should be lookup product, and for button three, the on click should be remove product. Now I'm going to go into my main activity.java and paste some code there. Um, I'm not going to copy and paste this whole thing, just what we need uh, so we can see it. Again, we need these texts. We need uh, to access our different text views, our edit text stuff. So I'm going to copy those uh, here and right before my on create, I'm going to declare my variables. Uh, each of them have to be imported, so I'm going to hit Alt Enter to import those. So those will let me access my things. Now in my on create, I've got to <coughs> uh, paste my, my code for accessing my IDs. So again, I'm going to look inside the on create and just grab that. Now one of the reasons I'm not grabbing all this is like their activity is called activity underscore database and my activity is called activity main. I mean my layout field. So uh, I, our, our two things won't match. So I'm just going to grab where we initialize these three variables and on create and paste that in here. So I've got, so far I've just got, this code is new. That's oh, not working. That's oh, blinking. Cool. I like that. I like this one blink too. 
Who? Is that fancy? <laughs> so, I don't know what. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's my code I've added in here. Okay, I'm tired of that now. Can I stop that? No, I don't know if I can stop that. <laughs> Okay, so that's all the code I have is for them. Now I'm going to paste in my new methods. So down here at the bottom, I should have three new methods for my different button clicks. So if I look at the code, uh, there should be code for the new product, look up product, and remove product. I want to grab all that code. Don't grab the dot, dot, dot. That's not actual Java at the bottom. Dot, dot, dot is not actual Java. So grab all that code. So new product, look up product, and remove product. I'm going to put that in to my code here. Um, there's one thing, this view is not imported, so I'm going to alt enter. So we add the import for the view. So let's just look, when I hit the new product button, um, I create a new DB handler. So when I hit the button, it creates one of these DB, oh, I keep writing DB helper. It creates one of these DB handlers uh, uh, here uh, for me to use. Uh, and then with that, I can add products or stuff like that. So I have a new DB handler. Um, I then create a new product. Uh, specifying the string from the product ID and the string and the number from the quantity. Uh, I have to do this one, the, the quantity, uh, I'm reading it in as a string and I need it as an integer, so I have to convert that to an integer and then create my product. So here's like creating a product. I pass, I call my DB handler and I call add product and pass the product into that. And then I reset my text boxes to empty. Look up product, I do something similar. I'm grabbing the product name. I am then, then calling, uh, or no, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, creating a DB handler. Uh, I'm then calling, with that DB handler, I'm calling find product and passing in the product name. So product box dot get text dot two string. So if I look in my XML file, why is it doing product box? I'm confused why it isn't doing, why is, shouldn't, why is it saying product, oh, duh. so for some reason when I declared my local variable here for the product name, I named it product box. So that, this is my product box, is my local variable that's referring to the product name field uh, on the, in the form. So that's why I'm using product box, of course. And so I'm calling the DB handler. So again, this main activity creates a DB handler and, and uses that. And then this product is what we kind of pass between the two to hold our data. So if we run this, do we have time to run this? No, we don't. Well, if you want to run this, <laughs> um, you, you can run it. You can add products. Uh, there and you can delete products and you can search for a product. So uh, you, should, you can try that out if you want, but we're going to wrap things up for today. How was the introduction to databases? So. Uh. Oh.
Oh, Wednesday we'll look at a more complicated example. Friday we'll do an in-class activity. I think I hid the assignment in class activity because I haven't checked, I haven't verified them. They're the old versions of them and I haven't tried them with Android Studio. So if I didn't hide them, don't run them yet. So not, you know, that you're going to be working whole week ahead this time in the semester. <laughs> uh, sure. It's about the Okay, right. Like on the background, like okay. the message you are sending. And I'm not able to get, I'm not like, to get, I'm not like, I'm not able, I'm trying to add toasts where to show the user that the message is sent. Okay. Okay. See, it doesn't. So, and the more I press, the more it sends me. Okay. So every time you yeah. you press, it sends you a text yeah, message. Yeah. It's standard, <laughs> but it doesn't notify. I know I have to make this look. Right. So. Right. Yeah. But or also, again, you you could pop up a toast message. Yes, and that's what I'm trying to do. Here you got this toast. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Um, I think it's got to be longer than that. Let me let me find it. Let me find an example. I'll show you. Um, Okay.
So I think you're missing the dot show in your toast messages. So you go toast dot make text contact get application SMS link show. Oh, oh you got the dot show. So yeah, you you can't just call get here if you try to do get application context. That's not gonna work. Are you taking both this semester? So which that's an okay, yeah. Now, when is that? Oh, that's the sent. I don't know what my so you should be getting a message back that it's been sent. Is that what you're? S okay. Nope. Is the how I'm thinking for some reason that that method is not getting called. How do you that you know that this SMS sent receiver. So what is that supposed to? Do? I haven't seen that. What does that do with the sent SMS sent receiver? So this, I kept this so that it can notify you if the message is delivered or not delivered. And so these are keeping it here so that if it's not delivered, once you press it, you yeah, but what calls that? Uh, do you know what what interface calls that? Yeah, you can change your mind on that. For example, yeah, because this is what's run when you click the button, right? So if you put in a uh, a toast, put a toast message there. I, uh, you know, if you were to copy. Uh, toast message, just yeah, just that toast message. Just copy that one and put it up uh, above, yeah, and put it inside that one somewhere. Just anywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I thought you already had a toast in here. Yeah, just say get like you did down there. Try get activity. No, I guess. Um, see how this one down here? You just say get activity. Yeah. Use that instead of the get application toast. Let's just change the message here. Uh, 
Okay, now I'll try to rerun that. When we're, it's hard with these projects to figure out where the air is locating. You know, is it a problem with the toast message? Is it a problem with your method not being called? You know, so you've got to kind of try to figure out what's what's being called when, and try to you know kind of debug it. Try to isolate the air a little as much as we can. So okay, let's try this. So we see. Okay. Okay. So that works, but. Uh, so the toast messages work, I mm -hmm. think, or at least that one does. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, um, this method, um, so right now you have it inside these switches. It would be interesting mm -hmm. to put it outside the switch just to see if the method is being called at all. Uh, and so I would debug it that way, you know, try to figure out if that's, and if not, you know that method isn't being called. So that, uh, Look at that, okay? I'm going to help Michael with it. So, I didn't tell him on what time I thought it was working to work on this. Okay. But I got some done and it's getting away at you for the rest. Okay. But, um, yeah, I never did get the pictures to be big, so. Okay. I don't know if that's just going to have to be the size they are. Right. That's. I was thinking about doing five businesses. Okay, uh-huh. Is that okay? Yeah, that sounds Even good. Even if it doesn't take up the whole... Right, that's business. okay. Because I, I would make them lay out and look nice, but right. it's like, yeah. every time I do that, it's going to be something else. Right, so, okay. So um, I was thinking three or three to five. Yeah, right. three to five should be it good. It might take up half the thing, but... Right, yeah. Thing. That I'm would be okay. I description of what the app is down there. Yeah, that would make um, sense. So yeah. then, two things. I'm getting some errors here, and I have this empty ID string, and that always happens. And um, I don't remember so why. So what happens often is that if you're, I think, text view. If you have something like this, and you click on it. Um, you may have, you may accidentally delete this ID field or something like that, okay. or uh, what's there. So I think we just sometimes when you're just hitting stuff, it's just, just oh. it just needs some ID, and we're not even going to use that variable. Uh, so, so then, and then we'll go again. You could change it here also, but that's generally what what causes the the problem okay. is that. I think sometimes, and I've seen it with other students too. Yeah. When you, you, you're just kind of trying to click, and you actually, and then you you've hit somehow you've deleted that. So, okay. okay. And then um, for my next step, if we if I wasn't adding more, okay, I'm trying to like figure out what my next step is because I know on here I have a second layout, and my second layout will say like. Um, I'm gonna have that like put the title of the of the business. Right. A picture. Uh huh. Um, maybe oh, a location. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then a call button. Right. Um, but so that would be setting it up like right this. here, right? I don't have this. So I would need to put like text. Um, yeah. Name for the business yeah, no, name. On the, on the right. Um, summary could be like the summary of the of what um, the business is. Yeah. Right. Um, location could be the location, and then I would add w a button for calling. Right. So that would be my next step, right? Right. Is to create the site, the the detail. Yeah. XML. And it would be layout. kind of like this. Right. Kind of like that. Why doesn't this show anything except this? Is that because um, we're not sure tying anything in here? Like, see how this just says large text? This uh -huh. is a calendar app. Uh, okay. So when you run it, it shows something. Is that right. You click on something. Um, because, like, here in the code for the second activity, mm -hmm. um, 
we like we have a uh, we have variables for the text view title and the summary and we link those into the IDs of the title and the summary right. on the text right. view. So and then and then on the on create right away we do TV title dot set, set text to this or that right. and or and then TV summary set text. So right away when the page lo when this activity loads we overwrite mm -hmm. whatever's there. Okay. So if I were doing this for the next one, I, for my for my business contact app, right? I would do the layout, set out the layout first. Or yeah. Next, and then I would go to the second activity, and I would use the. I would have like. What do you mean? Your code uh, on the website. Kind of like. How do we switch oh, yeah. back? Yeah, I, I switched oh. to the. I, I think you want yeah. yeah. Okay. So like. I could put here, I would put business title, uh -huh. business summary, right. um, business location, or a picture maybe right there. Right. And then a button to call. Uh -huh. um, so then I would say, like, for example, this could be a text box called name or something. And then I would put. I would have to define them here. Right. But here's why I'm confused. What do I do with this on mine? So, somehow you've got to send some information from your main activity to the second activity mm -hmm. for what button they clicked on. Yeah. Uh, so I would just send, like in this case, they sent the event number. I would just say send maybe the business number or something like that. Okay, so how do I define? The part I'm confused about is how do I define the business number? So, when the main activity, you'll, when you... Oh, that'll be in the main activity. Yeah, when, when you click on a button, you'll, you'll call the second activity. Okay. Um, and so let's look in this one on how it works. Here, when we, we click on a button, yep. we create an intent for the second activity, and then we start that activity. But before we start it, we, um, we send it, there's this extra, this storage between activities. Mm -hmm. So we put uh, the number one in the event number. Right. Uh, so that when we get to the second activity, we pull, we say extras dot get string with the event number, and we pull the event number out of there. Okay. Okay, so you could send. Can I call that business? Is yeah, that and you could you could send the business name. Yeah, here we did event number. You could send you could say business, business name or business number. You know, because again, it's just strings. Uh, so you would send that. Uh, so we. Depending on what button they clicked on, you'd send a different business name over here. Okay, so I don't here. necessarily define that in the layout, I define it in the code. <clears throat> right, yeah, in the code. And then here, we, we have a check, in, this is our second activity, we pull the business name out of the extras from the first activity. So now we have the business name. Mm -hmm. And then now we check if the business name equals Best Buy, yeah. We just display the Best Buy information. Set the, set the text to Best Buy. Right, yeah. Or title and, to right, Best Buy all that stuff. Right, right yeah. Right. That makes okay. sense? Um, yes. I think so. Okay. Well, why don't you work on it some more and then if you need to find me again. I'm going to try and finish it by midnight today. Okay. Um, I'll send, I'll send you what I have my midnight. Okay. I think uh, I think from what I understand, uh -huh. I'll be able to get... Right. Close? Yes. <laughs> Close. Okay. Sounds good. I'm looking okay. forward to it. All right. Okay. I'm less confused at least. <laughs> I, I was planning on working on it over break. Uh-huh. So the hotel I was at did not have Wi-Fi. Oh. How do, how do they even make well, hotels without Wi-Fi these well, days? They it's a nine-year-old hotel. Uh -huh. They have Wi-Fi, but oh. they only twenty dollars Yes, I hate that. Because it was kind of a nice hotel. Yeah, I don't understand why the more expensive hotels 
charge for Wi-Fi. No, I just I think if I'm paying, paying, yeah, Wi-Fi. right. It's like you know what? Sorry, I'm not paying twenty. Right. Yeah. I just that just doesn't seem fair to me.